Right now we're in Nantaburi, which is about 30 minutes drive from central Bangkok. I'm so excited, we're going to try some street food today, but not just any street food. This place right behind me is a Michelin rated fried banana restaurant. I'm so excited to try this, it sounds absolutely amazing. You can probably already tell from all the background noise, but we're on a really busy street right now. This place is literally set up on the busiest street you can imagine. There are cars going past, motorbikes going past, and you can hear engines absolutely everywhere. All I can smell right now is the amazing scent of fried banana. Seriously, it smells so sweet and so good. It must be really good. There's already a huge line of people clamoring to get in there and it's not even lunchtime. So come on, let's go get some fried banana and see what the hype is all about. So as well as fried bananas, you can also get fresh bananas here. They're not the same kind that you might see in the supermarket back home. They're actually way smaller and that stops them from falling apart when they're cooking in the hot, hot oil. So you're not just gonna find fried banana here, there are loads of other Thai snacks to choose from too. They all look really, really delicious. This is where they prepare all the food. They were so lovely here, and let us come back to have a look around. Everything was really organized and there were so many different stations. There were wafts of hot oil absolutely everywhere, cooking batch after batch of delicious Thai street food. This machine makes kind of like a dough. It's then hand rolled into balls before it's deep fried. There's just so much attention given to every single stage of the process. They even have this awesome machine that shakes off all of the oil at the end. Everyone at each station knew exactly what they were doing. It was really impressive. It could seriously rival any commercial kitchen. We could really see why it was included in the Michelin Guide. That's the thing about Thailand. There's just so many amazing street food vendors and restaurants hidden all over the country. You just have to seek them out. Wow, we got to go into the kitchen and see how everything was made. It's such an impressive operation. We have someone responsible for carefully slicing the bananas and there's just so much frying going on. I can't even express how good it smells here. Like there's the smell of oil, but it all smells like really sweet. My mouth is absolutely watering. I'm so excited to get back in line so I can order my food and try this delicious fried banana. Okay, let's go try it all. Let's go. We've just been to the fried banana shop and we've crossed over the road to a fresh coconut shop. It's really good actually. I love fresh coconut and it's served in these little bags. Mm, that's so good. So the fried banana shop sells a lot more than just fried bananas. It had all kinds of Thai snacks. Today we decided to try some fried bananas and also some deep fried taro balls and deep fried potato balls. They look really good and they smell even better. I'm gonna try one of the balls first. I think the woman said it was sweet potato, so let's bite in and see what it's like. That is really good. It's not quite what I expected. It's, it's actually hollow. That's really not what I expected, but it's so crispy and it has that really nice sweet taste. Like I love sweet potatoes and that's really coming through. 
are so crispy and so nice. Wow. I don't know if they're all hollow or not. So I'm gonna try another one just to see what that one's like too. And also because they're really yummy. I just wanna keep eating them. Yeah, hollow as well. It must be because the oil's so hot. They just go completely hollow, but either way, that's really yummy. Now I keep saying that they're completely hollow, but to be honest, there is a tiny bit of mixture inside. You're getting that really nice sweet potato flavor just hitting your tongue, and just the crispness of it is so good. You bite in and you have the most delicious crunch. It's really tasty. Now I'm gonna try the taro one. I'm not that familiar with taro. Like I've eaten it a few times. I've had taro chips and I really like those, but definitely I've never had them in this kind of form. But let's see what it's like. This one has like a little bit more filling inside it. It's still not a lot of filling. It's still mostly hollow, but you really get that different taste. It tastes quite different from the sweet potato. Again, it's still really delicious. You get that really, really lovely crunch as soon as you bite into it, and it just coats your tongue with the most delicious oily taste. It's so good. I briefly talked to the woman in the shop about them. I asked if they were taro flavor, because I could see the purple color, and she said it's actually taro mixed with milk powder. Maybe that's why it tastes so good. I don't know, but it's really delicious. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I actually can't believe I did that. Okay, I've just got to wash that down with some fresh coconut water. Mm. That's so good. Like, I just love coconut water so much. Actually, I just love coconut so much. This is so fresh and so delicious. You can even see like the big lumps of coconuts floating in it. You can tell that it's really, really fresh. I'm so excited. Now we're gonna try the fried banana. This is what gave the shop the Michelin rating. So if you're wondering if you want to order the snack in Thai, it's called Blue Eye Care. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm, that is delicious. Wow, just wow. It's not as sweet as I was expecting, but it's just so crunchy. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can hear it, but the sound of the crunch. Mm. Mm. It's like making my mouth water just thinking about it. It's so delicious. It's got that perfect mix of sweet and savory. The batter itself is really savory. That's where the crunch is coming from. And it's got little sesame seeds all over it which is just making the most amazing flavor. And inside we've got the thin slices of banana, so we've got the sweetness coming through, but not too much. It's like the perfect blend of sweet and savory. That's so delicious. Mm. Mm. I can really see why there are huge lines outside this place. That's so good. I already told you it was a 30 minute trip out of Bangkok, but absolutely worth it. That's so delicious, and I've never had anything like this in Thailand. This is so good. So I actually grew up in Brunei, and one of my favorite snacks to eat was called pisang goreng, which is, you guessed it, fried banana. You can also find pisang goreng all across Malaysia, as well as Brunei. So it's really cool that I've found something so similar right here in Bangkok, Thailand. It actually tastes kind of different. I think the flour is really different or something, but it's all really yummy. Mm, it's so good. It's kind of hard to believe, but all of this food, well, there are a couple of bits missing now, but all of this cost 50 baht, which is $1.50 US. Isn't that amazing? It's so delicious as well. You have to come and try this. If you want to come and try this delicious food for yourself, which you absolutely should, the shop is called Fried Banana Rama 5. But don't worry, we'll leave all of the details and the Google pin in the description below. If you want to see more Bangkok restaurants, more street food, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.